हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो टुडेज वीडियो इज अबाउट परफेक्ट नंबर इट इज अ टॉपिक ऑफ नंबर सिस्टम नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न दैट व्हाट आर परफेक्ट नंबर्स सो व्हाट इज अ परफेक्ट नंबर अ नंबर इज सेड टू बी परफेक्ट नंबर व्हेन इट इज इक्वल टू द सम ऑफ इट्स फैक्टर्स ओके excluding the number itself means to find out that whether a number is a perfect number or not first we have to find out its factors okay then we will add the factors and we will exclude the number itself if the sum of the factors will come equal to the number then it will be a perfect number okay so now let's learn through some examples let's take a very small number 4 okay so what are the factors of 4 the factors of 4 will be 1 the first factor of every number is number itself after this 4 will be divisible by 2 okay and then the number itself this means 4 is having three factors 1 2 and 4 now as per the definition of perfect number what we have to add we have to add its factors and we have to exclude the number itself okay this means we have to add only 1 and 2 so 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 and this is not coming equal to the number this means Four will not be a perfect number. It is not a perfect number. Okay. Now let's take another number. Now I am taking six. Now the first step to write down its factors. So the first factor of every number is one. Every number is divisible by one. Now, after this, the second factor will be two. Six is divisible by two. Then three. Six is divisible by three also. Now the next factor can be six, the number itself. Okay, one and the number itself. These two factors will always be there for any number. Now what we have to do? We have to add its factors and we have to exclude it. Okay, so let's add. One, two, and three. One plus two plus three. We will get six, which is equal to the number. Hence, six will be a perfect number. It will be a perfect number, and it is our smallest perfect number. Okay. Now, we will take some more examples to understand this topic. Let's take the number twelve. Again. First, we will write down its factors: one, then two, then it will be divisible by three, four, six, and twelve itself. Now let's add these: one plus two, three; three plus three, six; six plus four, ten; ten plus six, sixteen. And sixteen is not equal to twelve. Hence, twelve will not be our perfect number. Okay. Now, from these three examples, four is not a perfect number. Only six is a perfect number. Twelve is also not a perfect number. Let's take few more examples. Now, I am taking another number twenty. So, let's write down its factors. One, then it will be divisible by two. Then four, four five is a twenty. Then five, okay. After that, the next factor will be ten, and after this number itself, okay. Now we will add these. One plus two, three. Three plus four, seven. Seven plus five, twelve. And twelve plus ten, twenty-two, which is not equal to twenty. Hence, twenty will not be our perfect number. Okay. 
Now the last example I am taking 28. You can take any number and you can check like this whether it's a perfect number or not. 28. Let's write the factors. 1. Another factor 2. Then 4. 4 7 are 28. After that 7 4 are 28. 7 will be a factor of 28. Then 14. And then 28 itself. Okay. Now again let's add these. And we will exclude it. Exclude the number itself. As it is written here. Okay. Now 1 plus 2. 3. 3 plus 4. 7. 7 plus 7. 14. And 14 plus 14. 28. So it is coming equal to 28. Hence 28 will be our perfect number. Okay. So it is a very easy topic. Many times in Olympiad, the question based on perfect number comes. Like this, four options will be given. 8, 9, 6 and 12. And the question will be like this. Which of the following is a perfect number? So, if you don't know the concept of perfect number, then how will you solve? So, that's why these are small topics, easy topics, but many times you don't know these topics. Okay, so if you know the concept of perfect number, then you can easily solve. And by solving, you will get to know that 6 is a perfect number from all these. Okay, because the factors of 8 will be 1, 2, 4 and 8. Add this 3 plus 4, 7, which is not equal to 8. 9, the factors will be 1, 3 and 9. 1, 3 and 9. Okay, we will execute this. 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 is not equal to 9. And 6, we have already solved here. And for 12, again, we have solved here. So, the answer will be 6 in this case. Okay. So, I hope that now you understood the concept of perfect number. So, just subscribe to my channel for more informative videos. If you like this video, then please share it. Now, let's meet in the next video. Till then, goodbye. Take care. Thanks for watching.